Stacy and Jay Spoo, East Coast Radio. Confessions. And he has found himself in a tiny little bit of a predicament. So Ed has written in and he said, look, I know that Valentine's Day is supposed to be about romance and spending time with your significant other. But family comes first for me, especially when it comes to my mom's birthday, because she is a single mom. I don't want my mom to feel neglected or unimportant, but I also don't want to let my mom down. Should I be spending my mom's birthday with her, which falls on the 14th of February? I always do. And if so, how do I break this intel to my brand new Girlfriend. So, on the line first, Marius from Naughties. How are you, Marius? Hi, I'm good, thanks. How are you guys? I'm fine. I'm not Ed, so I don't have this, like, uh, Sophie's Choice situation going on because Ed is very pressed. He doesn't know what to do. He's panicking. So, what must Ed do? Uh, honestly, Ed, it's not that hard. I mean, a simple conversation with your partner should clear things up quickly. And if your partner gets upset, then obviously she's not for you. So, Marius, I want to ask you a question. Like, I think the only reason why Ed, because I totally agree, but I think the only reason why Ed is like a little, is because it's the first Valentine's Day. Like, do you think that there's any weight behind that because it is the first one? Because obviously plot twist will be that this will happen every Valentine's Day moving forward. Sure, sure. Um, I I hear what you're saying, but also maybe just taking out the next day might tear things up as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, Valentine's Day doesn't mean it, ha- it has to happen on the day. Yes, we can transfer this. Like, here's a coupon, and I'll be extra romantic with you tomorrow when those roses are half price. It's more economical, <laughs> too. See, look at Marius and I, guys. We could change the world. Thank you, my babes. Have a nice day, okay? Awesome. You guys as well. Shot, Marius. Bye. Uh, on Facebook, a number of people... This is, I suppose it's divisive. It depends on where you land here. But uh, somebody's saying, don't drop your girlfriend. She's also important. That's Jean Ree. Um, Patty, lunch with mama and romantic dinner with this uh, girlfriend of yours. It's an awful lot of eating. Um, Cindy Sewe is saying, I would, I'd advise you to invite your girlfriend over to your home. And then, wait, 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 wait. I would advise you to invite your girlfriend over to your home and then help you prepare your mom's birthday together. In that way, the two people people you admire and love will be in front of you and then later you can go out and enjoy Cindy Sibir I I know that you you think you're helping here babes but uh, it's the first Valentine's Day I don't know it is trying to keep them apart he's trying to have he doesn't want to spend the day with both of them let alone like bring this woman into his mother's house and also we don't know the backstory on the mom like well mom maybe mom will be upset if Ed turns the beat around maybe it's not the girlfriend because a number of the Facebook comments leaning towards this is your mother she must just understand as to Marius's point earlier maybe it's the mom who's the drama is it me am I the drama what should Ed do a conundrum here mom versus girlfriend for Valentine's Day 061-792-9495 Confessions in the confession. All right, now, Ed has a little bit of a Valentine's Day conundrum. He doesn't know what to do. Um, He has a girlfriend now, and it's the first Valentine's Day, so logic would dictate that this is an important time. Uh, You know how everybody loves to pull out the stops on the first Valentine's Day. After that, you're getting a happy V-Day, babes, and off you go to work. However, it's also Ed's mom's birthday. Single mom, and he spends every Valentine's Day with mommy, and that's their thing. And now he isn't sure how to broach the subject, given that he's got a week to go. We're calling on you, KZN, to chime in and help Ed out. So on the line from Chatsworth, we have Laura. Hi, you, my Laura. Hi, Stacey. Are you well? Yes, absolutely. I love to hear it. Now, Laura, you are currently not in this predicament. It's always easy to stand on the sidelines, eh? What does exactly. Ed do? Ed is stressing. Okay, basically what I think is, um, you know, being a single mom at, at one stage of my life with my son, um, my son is all in an, is definitely an adult. So I think, you know, what he needs to do is uh, divide his time. Mm. So I think with regards to lunch, um, he can do that with mom. Uh, buy her a gift, shower with love, respect, you know, all of that. But, you know, there's one thing we need to understand as moms, as our kids grow, is that they become adults. Mm-hmm. And when they become adults, they have their own life. So he doesn't need to feel guilty about that. Um, so he can do supper with the girlfriend, um, you know, just spend time with his relationship and that kind of thing. I think that is where we need to draw the line. Yes. Uh, when we boundaries. become boundaries. Healthy boundaries. Absolutely. So listen, Absolutely. I mean, like, Laura, I, again, I agree with you. I feel like this is not 
higher grade maths. This is not trigonometry, okay? There is a way yes. around this. We can have a conversation. Ashley on our Facebook page has actually yes. said here, Laura, maybe, Ed, you are actually messing up your mother's plans and she actually feels the same way that you do. Rather plan a future tradition from now so that there's no confusion in future. Because you see, Laura, how do we know that Ed's mom yes. doesn't have a valentine? You know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you know, and as, as our kids, as our kids grow, we need to just give them time to their to their selves. So we need to understand we've had that part of our lives. It's now over. We need to let our kids be. We've given them all the equipment on how to be an adult, how to move on with life, how to enjoy life. Listen, we need to give them that freedom to do so. Exactly. Um, you know, with all that uh, experience and information we've fed to them. So in my case as well, I don't demand too much of time with my son because I know he's got a girlfriend, he's got a family, and I tend to respect that, and that's how the relationship stays great. Perfect. Laura has said the things. Her TED Talk coming out in November. Thank you, Laura from Chatsworth. Have a beautiful <laughs> afternoon. Thanks, Mommy Lola. Thank you. Um, now, this is, that is now a whole separate conversation, and I, I feel like we've been traumatized enough this week as far as like <laughs> parenting and parenting advice is concerned on this show. But yeah, like, where is that line? There's also Atsy on our Facebook page going, my word, simple, stop it, stopping a mama's boy. Don't blame your mother. Make a decision. Hectic. Says in Jay, Ryan from Drummond. It's a bit of a tough one, a bit of a dicey one. But the partner or the the girlfriend should kind of just allow her boyfriend to spend time with the mother. You know, if your relationship is that strong and secure, then go for it. Hi, Stacey and Jay Spoo. It's Nicole here. I think that the guy should stick with his tradition and spend the day with his mother. For his girlfriend, maybe just do a supper date. Hey, Stace. Um, there are 24 hours in a day. Split the time between mum and girlfriend. Ed, 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 no, come on now. You've got a girlfriend, you're in a relationship. You're not mommy's boy anymore. Yes, buy her a gift, drop it off, and go and spend the day with your girlfriend. Stacey and Jay Spoon, East Coast Radio, Confessions. In the confession. So long story short, we are no closer to helping Ed. Ed is listening going, wow, guys, thank you for literally nothing. Ed, just caught between a rock and a hard place. So in this case, his mother's birthday landing promptly on Valentine's Day, as it has since the day he was born, which is also the one day that he spends with his mom. But now new girlfriend is on the scene. What is a guy to do to round us out from the bluff? Andres, how are you? I am not good stay in myself. I am very well because I'm not Ed. So what, <laughs> yes. what, what advice, if any, do you have for our dearest darling Ed, who is having a cadenza? Um, I would, I would, I would respect uh, the both people in my life, my mother, of course, as well, um, uh, being who she is, and uh, the new girlfriend. It is a new relationship. I believe um, uh, respect your mother uh, and. Have your lunch with her, give her a present, spend some quality time with your mom. And later in the afternoon, you have the rest of the day with your girlfriend. So you basically, we will say conquer and divide. <laughs> uh, divide and conquer. Um, it will like, work. And I'm ticking the boxes, babe. Sticking these yes. boxes left and right. Because the thing yeah. is, you know, Andrew, like, I know that there are a lot of people listening to this now probably thinking, this is ridiculous. I mean, like as you said, there's 24 hours in a day. We divide, we conquer, we make a plan. But I do feel like there's so much... That lies beneath. You know what I mean? We don't know. Is that girlfriend a big Valentine's Day goal? I mean, as as um, Ati said earlier, maybe your mom has Valentine's Day plans and you are encroaching on her potential romance. You know what I mean? Like, we're not having those kinds of conversations. So to muddle up mom and the most romantic day of the year seems a little like we could avoid this by having a conversation. Correct? Uh, I would, uh, that's exactly what I wanted to tell you now. Conversation early enough between the son and the mom and the between Ed and his girlfriend as well. And maybe one of the two uh, ladies uh, are not keen for the day. Maybe yes. mom says, listen, you know what? We've had it for years. Go with your girlfriend or other way around. You, you never know. And 
you know, take it from there. Good communication. There you go. Be great. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andres. I mean, in, in this, it's very, it's very easy for partners to be like, oh, wow, mommy's boy. Oh, wow. Like, I'm putting myself in that position. If I was the girlfriend, I'd be annoyed. How could you sideline me on the world's most romantic day? But it's also the most instructive day as far as romance is concerned. So, yeah, I'm a big fan of moving it over to the 15th, guys. You just postpone it when those roses are 50% off. I'm telling you, follow me for more life hacks. Confessions. In the confessions. KZN Today, you have been on it. The amount of voice notes, record-breaking. People very invested in Ed's problem. Ed's mom, single mom, birthday, 14 Feb, right? He spends every Valentine's Day with mommy. It's a non-negotiable. However, now, Ed has a wonderful girlfriend, brand new. First Valentine's Day, and he feels like he doesn't quite know what to do. I am optimistic that by the time we're done playing you this mashup, Ed, babes, you're going to have an answer. If not... Don't DM me in the comments. What's up, Stacey and Jane, all of the East Coast? All right, do the right thing. Do right by your mother. Spoil your mother. If she appreciates you, then she'll stay. If she don't and she vies, you know she was not loyal. Sorry, guys. It's Jen's here. From my opinion, love flows when love flows, not on a specific date. Love is love. A relationship is a relationship. Me... Valentine is just an absolute boss. Hey, awesome, Jay Saboon, Miss Stacy. It's Miss Kelly from PMB. Confessions. Well, I think you actually should space out time with your mom and your girlfriend. So, probably if you could get the day off and spend the daytime with your mom and nighttime, maybe do a supper with your girlfriend. Definitely would see mom, mom all the way. It's mom's birthday. That's your first lady. Never forget that. Stacey and Chase Boo. Weekdays, 3 to 6 p.m. East Coast Radio.